Hi and welcome to my channel, I'm Simon and today I'm back on the fourth day of Vlogmas with something very exciting indeed because not only we're going to be talking about how I made these baubles, I bound them and everything, they were just cloth, cardboard and paper and look what happened, I mean I should really hang them dangling, I was going to wear them as earrings at the start but I thought that might be a little bit excessive, anyway there you go, um, but also we're going to be talking about something that I am so 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 excited about and that is some Savage Reed stationery and actually that's how we're going to start off, so here I have some actual Savage Reed stationery which is now going to be available on the internet and what I want to do I've loved stationery for years and years and years and years and I was thinking in you know, the lead up to Christmas like is there something fun I could do with like an independent um, creator and I love Woodle books um, and this is one of her fabulous notebooks that I got get ready for the end papers naked ladies I mean it's just brilliant and um, yeah they're just gorgeous 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 notebooks this is a plain one um, and on the front I should say it said we are the children of the witches they didn't burn I bought Melanie one of these for her birthday not the same something different for her bright pink um, because I really really love it and I was thinking as I was saying what can I do to support like an indie I was thinking do I book, buy stuff what do I do and then I was reminded with No Nonsense November of the fact that I think it was last year, 2020, that I said was going to be my year of no fuck aroundery, where I was like, not going to let people muck me around, I wasn't going to take any nonsense. But also, like, that always, I think, is a little bit proportionate on other people, although actually you are telling yourself that you're culpable because you're allowing it to happen. But I do think we also need a little bit of no fuck aroundery with ourselves, where we sort of tell ourselves when we're being a bit nonsensical and when we're taking things too far or when we're being daft or when we need to kind of empower ourselves rather than spend a lot of time bogged down in stuff. So that was kind of where no fuck aroundery was born. And then it sort of failed because, you know, the Pan's Labyrinth arrived and everything went horribly wrong. And then I said I was going to do it again this year and it went wrong. And even though next year's looking a little bit like that, but I'm airing on positive, let's all put the positive energy out there. I've got really into affirmations and all sorts. I'll be talking about that in your course. Actually, one thing I'm going to be doing as well next year, sorry I'm getting ahead of myself, is this. I really want to get into um like uh guidance and ritual cards and stuff. And uh, Melanie bought me this uh, a while back and I need to use it. Anyway, so... In 2022, basically, No Fuck Around Re is going to be back. And what could be better than to do it with a No Fuck Around Re diary? Now, I've had this in my bag since I made these with Melanie. I think it was the leak, week before, the leak before last. The week, that would have been the leak before last. The week before last. Um, and I've not opened it. So I'm now going to, as you can see, it's by Whittle Books. How lovely is this bookmark? Um, and there's even boobs on the paper. Now, genuinely, I haven't opened this. I haven't seen what the final thing looks like. I'm really, really, really excited for it and also slightly terrified. Um, I will say it's a diary, not a planner. That's a big thing just to mention. Oh my God. <sighs> Savage Reads, X little books. And then on the front, are you ready for it? <gasps> no fuck aroundery, diary 2022. I actually can't believe it's real. I chose the end papers, I chose the cloth. You can also buy it in that blue, so there's multiple options. And um, like I said, it's not designed to be a planner, although I'm gonna talk about planners uh, probably at the beginning of next year. If I can't get round to it between Christmas and um, New Year, I will do something on planning uh, separately. But what I thought I would do with this is, I wanna make this like a diary of what I, I used to love writing diaries when I was younger and I've stopped doing it and what I wanted to do with this is sort of write about the moments where I feel empowered and the good stuff that's going on. I acknowledge the bad but sort of look at how I can change it. So I think what I'm going to probably do on the 1st of January is put all of my intentions for the year and what I would like to see happen um, in the year and what I'd like to do and everything and then just sort of take it from there. I was also thinking like if I was of a mind to write a book, which I'm not currently, you could even like write a page a day and then by the end of the year you would have like a book or a book of ideas or a book of learnings or a book of... I just want to chart next year and get into the swing of it. I think as well because I'm 40 next year and possibly if these do all right, and the link for these will be down below by the way, I don't want to keep you waiting for that for too long, um, but if these do all right, I um, have been talking to Amy about whether we could do like a book journal um, for my 40th that people could buy. And I should say, I'm getting no money for this at all whatsoever. I wanted to do something, as I said, that supported an indie creator. I think it's really, really important, especially after the last couple of years that we've had. 
And so this is just so exciting to me, it's untrue that I will be helping that, but also 10% um, of the sales of these books are going to the crisis charity over Christmas, um, which um, basically helps feed people on Christmas day and give them somewhere safe to be. And I'm really, really passionate about that homelessness, having almost been homeless a couple of times in my life, um, very close to it, like literally, and actually at some point sleeping on people's floors when I pretty much was homeless, um, but I don't want to kind of over egg it because I wasn't literally living on the street. Um, but it's something that's really, really, I'm really, really passionate about. And Christmas is a time where I think those people have gotten, having done some work in libraries with homeless people over the last year as well. One thing that I really hadn't realised is how like, just acknowledging them, even if you're saying, no, you can't give them any money, can like really, really change things. And I was just thinking it'd be nice if something that I do could not only benefit an indie creator hugely, but could also end up, uh, also benefit people um, at Christmas who um, are probably not going to have, well, we know they're not going to have the easiest of time. So there we go. So that is it. This is the No Fuck Aroundery Diary 2022. Now, there are only a limited edition of them, limited number, because it's so close to Christmas and Amy wants to make sure she can get them out. But if they do all right, there will also hopefully be No Fuck Aroundery notebooks for um next year so um yeah i'm just i can't even believe it's real it's so beautiful and it is i do think like it's quite me <laughs> like i had so much fun choosing the um end papers and the cloths and everything so yeah i will insert a little bit of footage that i have of amy making them I know, it's amazing, which ties into the fact that I made two tiny <laughs> sort of notebooks, I guess, that are also, as I mentioned at the beginning, baubles. So before I talk to you about this more, I will share some footage of uh, me and Melanie, because it was my uh, Christmas present to Melanie, or part of my Christmas present to Melanie to take her. And again, it was with Amy at Audible Books. Um, and, um, and again, I would want to do something that was creative, but supported uh, and independent, but also just with something really, really different. And we had such a lovely time. So I'll insert some footage from that now. There you have it you have the um the way that we made them not exactly because obviously i didn't want to give away all of amy's secrets because that's how she makes a career but i can show you um you can see that um, it was just two pieces of cardboard and um, then this cloth and then some paper but also i made end papers i'm really ridiculously proud of the fact that i achieved this i will say i went a little bit wonky with the uh, hanger the hanger should probably be more like there if it was going to be more precise but that was my first go. And then on my second one, I was well chuffed because I think that was pretty bob on. Now I will say <laughs> it went slightly awry. I think I got a bit cocky with my second one because I did really well on matching the foxes on the inside, but not quite so well on the other one. Don't know what's happened to this fox. It's gained two legs. So there we go. Um, but it was just so much fun. And if you get the chance to do something like that, do. It's all on um, Amy's website, but I'm sure like there might be places near you because Amy's in London. Um, but yeah, it was just such a treat and got me so in the Christmas spirit. And I've been so proud having this on the tree this year, which you'll have seen me uh, put up and decorate and, well, pick and put up and decorate earlier in Vlogmas. But yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with it. So there we go. And I've got a lovely 
leather notebook out of it, is it? Notebook, got a lovely leather and bookmark out of it. But yeah, so if you would like to go and support uh, an, an independent creative and get some lovely presents for Christmas, then you can do head over to Woodle Books. And uh, like I said, there'll be a link for these down below. Um, and if they run out, um, because we are doing a very limited run because of time, um, like I said, hopefully there'll be notebooks and possibly for my 40th, some kind of book journal next year. But um, yeah, something a little bit random. It was Christmassy though for Vlogmas. Let's just make it seriously Christmassy and I'll pop these on. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, that's going the wrong way. See, this one is, it's wonky, I told you. I didn't do it. I didn't do my best job on that one. Come on, let's make the match. But um, yeah, if you would like to um, support um, an indie and uh, go and see what other fabulous stuff Amy does, get to it. And if you do get your mitts on a No Fuck Around Rediary 2020 too, that was a <laughs> awkward one there, then do please let me know and tell me what you're planning on doing with it. Are you just going to keep notes of how you um, have a year of No Fuck Around Re? Is it going to be a way that you jot down ideas? Are you going to write a novel in it? Tell me everything. I'd love to know. And um, yeah, and if you see, if you see, if you do get one and when you get it, do pop it on social media and uh, let me know because I would love to see it or any of the other notebooks that um, Amy does. So there we go. I'm waffling on now. I'm just so excited by this. I can't believe I've seen it and I can't believe that it's real. So um, yeah, I will speak to you all soon. Have a wonderful rest of days. And yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. See you then.